This learning module is about proximity functions and buffering. So the proximity functions are any spatial operations that use uh, distance between features. Um, it helps us answer questions like where is something or where is a feature closest um, or, or to the current feature or how much area can be served by a certain feature. Um, here is an example where distance um, is evaluated. So these triangles are uh, water points and this image is a raster image where every pixel provides or takes the value of the distance to the closest water source. And so as you can see that um, once we have distance information then we can find all the points uh, within a certain distance from a water source. So proximity functions can be really helpful if we are trying to figure out um, distance based analysis. So the distance is calculated uh, using uh, Pythagoras formula also called Euclidean distance and um, if we look at these this raster image um, and since the cell size is 10 we compute from the center of the cell to the other um, cells so these gray cells are the cells from where we are trying to find distance if we look at this cell the closest cell to this is this gray cell and the distance between centers would be 10 20 um, but if we go to this cell then this is not the closest uh, cell for this cell actually if we look carefully this cell would be the closest for this and this would be um, 20 this way 20 this way so it'll be um, 2 times square root of 20 which will be 28 likewise 14 and so you can see that all of these pixels provide shortest distance to these gray cells um, so based upon the distance function that we just talked about, we can create buffers. Buffers are regions around a feature at a constant distance. For example, if we have a vector feature, we can create a buffer at a fixed distance. And this will give us another polygon, which is a bigger polygon, and covers all of this region outside the input polygon. Um, likewise, if we have raster cells, we can create a buffer around those cells based upon some fixed distance. Um, first, let's talk about the raster buffer. Um, we kind of touched upon this. It's the same example that I talked about earlier. So if we have this raster feature, we can create a buffer um, at a fixed distance. So we already know the distance um, function that we saw before. Um, in this slide how to create these distances. Now let's say we create a buffer for distance equal to 15. So any cell that has distance 15 or less is dark and so this dark cells form a 15 units buffer around these gray cells. Okay. Similarly we can apply the distance function um, on vector. I want to point out here that for raster because of the pixels we get stair step shape of the uh, buffer area. But that's not the case in vector. In case of vector, whether it's a point, line, or polygon type feature, we always get a polygon as an output of the buffering operation. And it's based upon the same distance formula we talked about earlier. It's a polygon from with a fixed distance from the point or from the line or from a polygon. So um, there are different types of buffer that you will come across. That there are mainly four types: um, simple buffer, compound buffer, nested buffer, and variable distance buffer, which is on the next slide. So, simple buffer is you basically create all these buffers, and wherever they overlap, you remove the overlapping lines. So that's simple buffer. Now, if you keep those overlapping lines and keep track of wherever two buffers are overlapping as a separate little region. So two is where two, or, uh, two regions overlap, three is where three regions overlap, um, um, and four is where all of the regions overlap. Um, based on that, we keep track of all of these overlaps and that way we get what we call compound buffers. 
the nested buffers is where you have a have a distance um, changing and you keep track of these small increments in the distance and so multiple distances create multi multiple buffers but they are all centered around the same feature so that's why they're called also ring or uh, concentric or multi-ring uh, buffers the last one is called the variable distance buffer and in this case the buffer for different features um, is based upon a distance which comes from some attribute. So let's say we were trying to create buffer around this um, uh, Mississippi River, um, then they could be um, different buffer sizes for different rivers and the, the buffers will be created based upon that value from that attribute. So uh, there are some sometimes needs where um, depending upon the feature or type of feature they could be a different size of area of extent around it um, could be an example of water pollution or um, a point source pollutions um, that have different area of extent or area of influence around them